I kind of thought I was done for the night, and then I watched episode 9, uh, Battle of the Bastards, and I decided I'm just going to jump right in, and I'm just going to do it. I'm going to power through. Um, I am still not feeling well. Um, I'm hoping my voice holds out, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Um, but this episode it, um, is really pivotal. It's, it's Everything has been leading up to this this season. Um, we, there's really just two major plots um, throughout the, the episode, and it's really just the, the wars that are taking place right now. Um, the war that's in Marine, um, that's under siege right now from the um, slave traders, and now that Danny is back, um, she is able to, to really uh, just enlighten them and let them know that they are not uh, going to proceed with their plan. Um, they very uh, uh, they, they, they think that it's going to be easy to take her uh, down and, and don't really um, realize what they're dealing with. They just completely underestimate her. They have no idea that she has um, basically the whole Unsullied army, uh, that they believe that she is just uh, ruling. She doesn't under, they don't understand that she has given them the freedom to fight for her or not. Um, that they are free men now. Um, she also has the whole Dothraki horde. She has the, um, oh, the, the, what do you call it? The mercenaries are still at her, are, are working for her. So she has all of these, basically three armies working together. And then she also has the dragons. And really, when you come across that, I mean, who's going to go up against that? She's, she's got three dragons that she is now very capable of controlling that she can pretty much call at will without really having to do much. I mean, we've seen a couple of times in this season where she's just been able to know when uh, Drogo is close and able to just, you know, kind of be like, okay, hey, I need you, and here he is. So this is the third time that I can think of where she has um, been able to call him without really letting us know, but, you know, just to, to let him know that she needs him and he's able to come and help her and save her. Not really save her, but, you know, give her the, the power that she needs to be able to convey that she is going to win, that this was a very bad plan. And um, the one survivor of the battle needs to go home and, and just let everybody know that this is what will happen. Um, and that going up against her is not a good plan. Um, the Greyjoys finally do get to the Queen. Uh, they get to see Danny and uh, give her, her um, like, basically pay tribute. Um, basically say, here, we have ships, but we really need your help. We really want our home back. Um, we're willing to um, acknowledge that you are a queen, but um, we would really like to be able to control our own islands. Um, and Danny's kind of all about that, so she is kind of in favor of it, especially when they present to her that uh, Euron has more ships, but he also expects uh, to be married to her. And um, he's, he's got a very chauvinistic uh, view of what marriage looks like in his eyes. And really, we all know that he's really only in it for the power um, and for getting to be king. So as soon as he gets what he wants, I am very certain that Danny would not be, um, not necessarily that he would be able to kill her, but that she would always have to be fighting for her life. Not that she's not already, but it's a lot harder when you're not able to trust the people that you live with. And thus far, she has uh, a lot of people, that trustworthy people around her, surrounding her. Um, the other huge part, um, of this episode, the reason, uh, for its name is, uh, that Sansa and John are now going up against, um, Bolton, Ramsey Bolton, and, um, it's a very epic battle in, in just the way it's shot and in the way, um, that it's been portrayed. It's, it's pretty, um, pretty outstanding work. Uh, they do a very good job of just showing... Um, that this style of fighting is just very random. It's all about luck, really. I mean, it's not very coordinated at all. It, it's all about just uh, being kind of aware of who's around you, but not really able to, to have any good sort of organized plan. They go into it with this whole um, idea that they will 
let the Boltons um, army advance on them and then they will surround them and this will be their way of, even though they have less numbers, um, getting their victory. Uh, in the beginning of this, uh, as Sansa is listening to all this, she is tries to make it very clear to John. You know, it, it's one of those things. She's lived with him, lived with Ramsay Bolton. She knows uh, what an evil piece of shit he is, and she tries to warn John that that he is this evil person, and that whatever John thinks that he's going to be able to do, Ramsay is probably a step or two ahead of him. And that is hard for John to hear because John has always been one or two steps ahead of any plan, basically. He's always kind of had, you know, a, a plan A, B, and C, and sometimes even D, E, and F to be able to, to go to. And in this case, he really feels confident that he's got it, but um, Sansa tries to explain that Ramsay is just, he's going to do things that John is not going to expect. Um, John is really hopeful that he's going to be able to to get Recon back and um, kind of coordinate that somehow. And Sansa has lost all hope. She used that as her bargaining chip to get John to take Winterfell, but uh, we kind of see that she kind of always knew that this was not something that was going to happen. That um, Recon being a acknowledged Stark um, boy. He holds, he, he would be the Lord of Winterfell if they were in power of Winterfell right now. And there's no way that Ramsay Bolton is going to let that happen. Um, he's just going to be a pawn. And we see that very clearly in this episode. And it's really sad. Um, oh, so it's, it's hard, but um, Sansa just feels that no one can protect anyone anymore. As much as Jon wants to protect her, um, wants to get her revenge. Um, and help her with all of that. She feels very strongly that that's just not possible. Um, she very clearly, the, the end of their argument is just saying, don't do whatever he wants you to do. Don't play into his plan. And unfortunately, that is exactly what John does. And in doing that, John falls into Ramsey's trap. He, um, he, he gets his forces in the exact position that he wanted the Bolton forces to be in. And it's unfortunate because they are surrounded on all three sides. They're being pressed in. Um, it is very clear that they are in trouble. Uh, but Sansa has had a plan all along. And we knew that she was up to something. And this is where we get to see it fulfilled, uh, where the Vale, uh, the mem or the soldiers of the Vale come and uh, fight for Sansa and ultimately overtake the Boltons. And they get to um, overtake Winterfell. We get to see John fight for his home and and really just brutally take down Bolton Ramsey and or Ramsey Bolton. And it's uh, so clearly just worth it uh, to see John like kind of become this just force to be reckoned with. Um, he's a great fighter, but to take down someone who is so hated in such a way is just very very. Um, fulfilling. <laughs> um, and then at the very end, we get to see Sansa uh, take her revenge finally on Ramsay. Um, John would very much like to be able to beat him to death, but realizes that for all intents and purposes, it's really Sansa who is um, really, get, it's, it's her death to, to hand down. Um, and, and she gets to do that in a very uh, poetic way by having Bolton's own dogs eat him. <laughs> He's so condescending and so sure of himself um, without realizing that all of the pain and all of the things that he's inflicted on these people around him are finally coming to call and finally um, going to be inflicted on him. And uh, it, it was uh, very interesting to see his... Um, just denial and disillusionment of all of that happening. So overall, this was a fantastic episode. I am really excited for the season finale coming up next week. I am really sad that it's almost over um, because I love this show. Um, I'm hoping that you all are loving the reviews. I am sorry that I am a hot mess right now, but I just had to talk about it, and I hope you guys appreciate it. Bye, guys.